today we're going to be doing probably the number one thing on most people's Vietnam bucket lists. We're going to be doing an overnight cruise on Ha Long Bay. Wow, this place is insane. There are so many different boats and tour companies to choose from, it can be a bit overwhelming. So in the end we decided to go for one that had the right balance of price to quality. And we settled on a company called p and &E Cruises. They're quite reasonably priced and they're a lot smaller than some of the other boats that you see out on Harlong Bay. Here we got some summer rolls and a mango salad. I think this is the starter. The next course has arrived. We got pizza and corn soup. The main course has just arrived. Tofu soup, fried rice and vegetables. And we're already getting so full up. <laughs> we're now finishing up with a traditional Vietnamese coffee. We've just finished our lunch and now we are setting sail into the bay and we're passing all of these incredible limestone islands. Such an amazing landscape. Okay, let's go check out our room. There are two floors and we are on the lower floor. Long corridor. We are right down at the end, I think. So there are 12 down here and eight upstairs. So 20 rooms in total, which is much smaller than some of the other boats. Wow. So this is our room for the next two days. We've got our bed here and a pretty amazing view. And then in our bathroom, we've actually got a bath, <laughs> which we haven't had for about seven months. We've just had our lunch, and in a few hours, we're gonna be doing some kayaking. So I thought I would do a quick tour of the boat. So this is the first floor corridor here. And then you come into the main lobby. Upstairs on the second floor, there are some more rooms. So there are eight rooms here. And then you come through to the dining area. So this is where we eat all our meals. These stairs lead up to the third deck. So you've got the captain there and the sun loungers. At the back of the third deck is the bar area and a jacuzzi tub. <laughs> Apparently you can fit 10 people in here. Don't know if we'll be in there later. <laughs> oh, there's somebody down there in a tiny boat paddling up to the bigger boats trying to sell snacks. <laughs> this is such a nice boat and the perfect size for us. Some of the other ones are huge, whereas we've only got 20 cabins, so it feels a lot smaller and more intimate, which is really nice. Okay, the boat's just come to a stop. So I think we're gonna be heading out for the kayaking soon. Let's go kayaking. This 
place is insane. So we're going to be going around this island here, out behind us, and then back to the boat. Look how massive that butterfly is. It's gonna, it landed on me. That was a massive butterfly, like the size of my hand. I thought it was gonna land on me. We just finished kayaking, had a shower, and then came up to the top deck to get a drink. And the sun has come out. It was meant to be raining all day today, so this was unexpected. It looks like we're gonna get a really nice sunset. So we just had our cooking demonstration and now we've come inside for dinner. This is stir-fried udon noodles with vegetables. Okay, now the main course is out. It is a tofu and sweet potato curry with rice and vegetables. We just finished our dinner and came up to the top deck. And look at how lit up all these boats are. Okay, that is the end of our first day on the boat. I am so full up. <laughs> Five courses is just so much food. We're up pretty early tomorrow. It's 6.15 on the top deck for Tai Chi, which we may or may not get involved in, but we'll probably still get up to watch it either way. So I'll see you then. Good morning. It's our second day on the boat and I just got up early to go and watch the Tai Chi which was really cool. It was pretty rainy last night, but it looks like it's cleared up a bit this morning. Hopefully it holds off for the rest of the day. The plan for today is to head to Cat Bar Island, where we're going to go and explore a cave. But first, it's time for breakfast. <laughs> so we just jumped into a smaller boat, which is taking us to Cat Bar Island. We're now on the island and we're gonna switch into a bus to take us to the cave. So the Harlong Bay area is made up of almost 2,000 islands and Katba Island is one of the biggest. It's actually inhabited. We passed through quite a few villages on our way here and now it is 150 steps up to the cave. We've just left the cave and it started pouring with rain. Our first rain of the trip though, so not too bad. Okay, back to the boat. Okay, we're now back on the boat and changed back into yesterday's clothes as today's clothes got drenched on our way back from the cave. We've now got to check out of our room and head back upstairs for brunch and then we are leaving the boat. It's been a really good 24 hours on this boat. It was the perfect amount of people on here for us. It felt pretty small compared to some of the other boats. 
uh, there was tons of food and the activities were really good as well. But the main thing is obviously this incredible landscape that we're in. Even when it's raining like it is now, it still looks amazing. Right, I think we'd better check out and head upstairs. Time for brunch. I have just gone for a salad with a bit of tofu and bread. <laughs> You've just gone for breakfast again. <laughs> okay, we're now leaving the boat and heading back to land. Goodbye. Right, see you in Hanoi. So we're back in Hanoi and we've come to this super popular banh mi place to get our dinner. The banh mi is basically a combination of the French and Vietnamese influences. So it's a stir fry in a baguette. These two baguettes here costed one pound each. So I'm super excited to give it a try. We both went for tofu and mushroom. Mine's got carrot, coriander, cucumber and chili in it and Amy's doesn't have any chilli, no chilli. <laughs> so good. One pound. We have arrived in Ninh Binh, a province about two hours south of Hanoi in northern Vietnam, known as Ha Long Bay on land. <laughs> 